Hey guys, this is Strategist from Strategist Plays. I apologize for the delay in uh, talking, but uh, I was just checking to make sure that my live was actually live. <laughs> so ever since with my experience with Shadow Play, and which I'm not using, um, you know, where it would just shut off or say it went live, but then it would not go live. Um, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, uh, more cautious and curious in the sense that I have to double check to make sure that I am live. So I am live, that's a good thing. And I just wanna say that uh, I made rank seven, the blood guard. And with that, uh, my intentions are to actually, give me one second. My intentions are to actually um, get me the items I want. So give me one second, I keep saying that, but uh, this one second might turn into two, three, four, five, six, seven, a minute. Uh, yeah, let me, um, so I'm going to actually be heading to uh, Orgrimmar because there's a few things I need to do. And I can't afford to uh, spend money now. Because I was going to get me some scrolls, but um, I need to uh, get me my next items, which uh, I want you guys to be on the journey with me. And uh, my wife is working from home, so it kind of throws my schedule a little bit off. Orchasm is online. So I got a little uh, blimp flight and on my way to Org or Orgrimmar, Orgrimmar. And uh, yeah, I am off to get, let me see what I have right now, 716. All right, so I am off to get an item. And let me put on my, uh, so you might say, well, what item are you going to get on this? Well, the items associated with uh, rank 7 blood guard. And I was hoping that somehow I could make it to the, a little above blood guard, but uh, yeah, no, it's, you know, I'm competing against other people and uh, some of them have more time doing PvP right now than I do uh, on this character. So uh, the house has been pretty helpful. Uh, it's a gr it's a great guild. So if you come to Arcanite Reaper and you're a good character, a good person, and uh, like uh, family type of environment, these guys are for you. And I'm also trying to see. Uh... So I'm asking Orgasm, what are you up to this fine day? So, Orchasm is trying to get a Banthok Sash. 43 armor item, 11 intellect, 10 stamina. It improves your chance to hit with spells by 1%. Increases damage and healing done by magical spells and effects by up to 12. And let me see. I just want to take a look at something. So I, I uh, showed him the Frostwood, Frostwolf cloth belt, and the only difference is the um, and arm. Um, yep, yeah, but it's the hit. The hit is what what drives this belt apart. All right. So what I'm going to try to do right now. 
is see how much everything will cost me. Um, seven sixteenths. All right. Okay, shaman. I forgot that orgasm is a shaman. Alright, I'm gonna jump. Don't stop me, people. Alright, so right now... I might have to go to Azshara, make me a little bit of loot, and then come back. Hmm. Let me see what I could sell a few items for. Because I really want these particular items. Oops. Suppose I can sell a felt cloth. Right, let's go visit this particular vendor. And it's the uh, battleground vendors. So my objective is to have enough gold slash cash to, um, oops, here it is, to uh, get two items and uh, then make up for it in the, uh, uh, in the in-game virtual world and make me some gold again. Okay, so I'm going to zone in and let's find out if I have enough. What do I have to sell to have enough? Yes. All right, so. So I will not sell the Dread Mist items. But I will sell sell this and uh, all right so three gold two silver 54 copper that's one item so I'm gonna put that on myself and then the boots so this is I am being blocked I can't see it the blood guards Red weave walkers. So if I get two of these, my damage is gonna increase by 23. So uh, I will get this next. Leaves me with 37 silver. All right. So here we go. Cool. All right. Is there anything else I can get? Doesn't look that way right now. So I am content with this so far. Remember. And uh yeah. Now. Alright, so at least I still get to keep my 200 armor. And let me see something. Yeah, I might keep those on. But if I were to put this on, give me a second, guys. Hmm. If 
but I lose my 200 armor. So for now, I'll just keep that. And let's see if I can fly to Azshara. And I'm asking the guild if anyone's doing any dungeons right now. Bridge. There we go. Sick. Oh, another thing. How's my, uh, okay. gonna do is I'll rebuff when my buffs start wearing down. How's that? Sug sug. Go for. <laughs> so no one's answered me if they're doing any dungeons or anything. I think people are doing their uh They're doing their own thing. Some people are uh, well, Black Rock De Black Rock Depths, Orgrimmar, Undercity, Desolus, Eastern Plaguelands. People are doing their own thing right now. Some uh, some are uh, PVPing like Charia. And you know, I'm like made rank seven at least. Yeah, I'm just gonna share with the guild. That should help with my damage a little bit. <laughs> I'm like, was hoping to get two ranks out of the way, but it wasn't going to happen. Not enough time to do to do it, especially with what wife working from home which that's fine I mean that's you know I can't be 24 7 and uh, doing other jobs on my end and playing so there we go you're in trouble now so let me see intellect nope Spirit. Protect yourself. Stamina. Alright. And I will give my... Some strength, some stamina. And... Alright. And... Just to make sure... I'm gonna have to get me a few more shards. So right now I'm just in Ashara and I just need to make me a little bit of more loot because uh, um, as you saw I'm down now to 29 silver. I just want to get a few silver in my uh, pants, in my robe. And if you guys are hearing any noise, my uh, son is uh, with my wife making the noise. 
my wife finally stopped uh, doing her work. So. Yeah, definitely the 200 armor does help. So I'm still trying to uh, sell my freezing band and nobody's nobody's buying it 950 to a thousand gold people on the Arcanite Reaper server so if you got the gold come and buy it I must be a terrible salesman Now, if Altrek Valley didn't take so long, I would be just doing it, doing it, doing it until I was more than exalted and honored. And then I would turn around and I would uh, work on Arathi Basin. Then, after Arathi Basin, I would work on Warsong Gulch because by that point I should have very good gear. Right now, I'm not even started. Uh, it's going to take me a bit. So now I have 21 damage, and I have a set of two. That's 23 damage, so we're at 44. So if I can get the Robo of the Voidwalker, that's going to be 46. I will be damage central for a lot of... Uh, a lot of uh, mobs in the dungeon. Alright, what is up with this quill? The only quill I can think of is the Guardians of the Galaxy quill. Every time I get that now. Hopefully, in Ga Guardians of the Galaxy 3, he does not end up dead like that. Somebody's food. So again, the question might be ominous. Why else do you need this to get more loot? Well, other than my 150 gold that I need, other the other than the uh, epic mount that I eventually have to get, um, I need to uh, get some enchants going for some of my items. So damage over time slash dot poison. So that's okay. If anybody knows about dots, it's a lock or a priest or a druid. Get my 
myself another shard, just to make sure. So I might have to actually go to Ungoro Crater and uh, work on getting me some uh, Essence of Fire because uh, I sure as hell cannot afford it at this moment, which totally bites. I should have a lot more money, but items that I need, people, items that I need to, to get, the items I just got now. breathe underwater or attack greater invisibility. It's just uh, in case I get attacked and somebody tries to take one of my spells using a uh, fell hunter or something, hopefully they'll get a trap spell. That's just a filler. Though I should have put my fillers a little bit more in the forward section. That's alright though. to sell these boots. And these boots give me a little bit extra oomph. So 13 intellect, 17 stamina, and it increases my uh, magical spells and effects by 18. Not 29 like uh, my uh, shadow damage. However, it also gives me a little bit extra armor, which um, if you've seen some of the videos where I'm, where I'm getting beat up by Alliance, uh, usually rogues and uh, warriors and everybody and their mom, um, I need armor. So, if that gives you any indication. Alright. So right now I'm just doing a round robin. And uh, trying to build up some of my uh, money. So I'm asking if anyone's doing any dungeons. It's been quiet. I don't think they have. Apparently I can't even uh, spell rough, but <laughs> I said, uh, Z Zinavane is like, holy cow, almost full pre-maids in Arathi Basin. I'm like, yes, Arathi Basins and uh, Warsong Gulches are rough. So I am running around just waiting for uh, respawns here. 
so far nothing. Let me go further and see if I can, uh... See if I can go to where I was earlier and maybe it'll be open and I can, uh, camp that area. bother. I was going to ask if anyone's doing uh, Altrac Valleys, but it's an hour or two hour wait before I can do one. Uh, I wouldn't have enough time right now. Let's see if anybody has this one. Okay, doesn't look it. Not too bad. Is it ready? Okay. So don't mind me, I'm just uh doing the best that I can with what I got. Let me switch to PvP, insignia of the horde, just in case I gotta break something. cloth that never hurt anyone and now I'm just gonna jump down and continue the pattern. We have never felt so good. <laughs> so I will try to get into a battleground in about 30 minutes maybe. Just do one. Okay. Now I'm talking. Amplified that a little bit. Battlegrounds are definitely important. I have to make that next rank. 
And the next rank after that, and the next rank after that, and uh, you get it. Let's get this party started. How dare they? So Holofrost is like, just camping someone who killed my elf. And I'm like, how dare they? It happens, people. Especially when I'm too low to give honor. Yeah, if you're gonna if you're gonna gank a lower level that doesn't give you any honor, that's kind of like that's low. You got no honor. I mean, what are you gonna do? Zinnavane is like literally all marshal and field marshals for alliance in this Iraqi basin. Yeah, that, that sucks. Hey, maybe somebody bought something of mine. That'd be nice. It expired. Oh boy. See what I'm going through, guys? Nobody's buying my stuff. Other than the freezing band, everything else is cheap. And I'm not going to give that freezing band away. So. <laughs> see how's this looking well, let me run over to the other side here let's get this party started okay By the way, if you look behind me, the background has changed slightly. <laughs> that uh, my wife had a uh, a meeting today, and uh, she wanted something different, so I gave her a, a new look. Okay, let's see. I guess I can eat one of these. I'll use the quails to make up this difference between uh, 20 of the dews and 19 of the boulet. Or bullet. However you say it. Maybe somebody can correct me. <laughs> Dude, incapacitated. <laughs> says plans for what hmm no. I'm not a blacksmith I will try to sell it in the auction house if that does not work Oops. No. 
that doesn't work, then we will just outright sell it. Here right now, my son is having a blast playing uh, drums in the background. Okay, so far, so good. Let me go around. All right, almost two gold. Let's get this party started. <laughs> you brought a friend, but killed them both. See guys, that's another thing. Sometimes you'll come around with your high level character and gank some low level for no reason. There are jerks in the game. I mean, jerks are everywhere. So they'll do that. They'll gank someone, think they're high and mighty, not realizing that the person they gank could have a higher level character and uh, they're just going to camp you back. So try to be nice to other people. You never know. You never know what's going to happen. And I said the story, I used to have two accounts and uh, somebody ganked one of my tunes. I, I had two accounts for a short time, I mean, versus one of my friends that I told a story about him. So this guy, he uh, ganked me and again, I was like, like, uh, Frost, but my low level character really was no, no real honor for the person. So he camped me. So what I did was I was ticked off, I got on my uh, shaman. And I tracked that man down and, and then just annihilated him. He did not log back in. So, be careful who you pick on people, you never know. It's sort of like in life. That one person you were rude to, it could be anybody. It could be the boss's son, for all you know. You know, you never know. As Ellen DeGeneres says, be kind to one another. Even in a game. Okay, so I'm kind of liking this little area, it's a little bit different from uh, the area I usually uh, camp. I'm full. All right. All right. Let me go after this one. I need to get closer. So this person that was camping Hollow Frost's alt now brought three people, and he just finished killing all three. That's kind of funny. <laughs> and 
I'm like, you getting on or off of all those kills? <laughs> Too funny. room class, I guess. All right. So let me just work my way around again. Actually, trying to conserve a little bit. PvP server, try to be more conservative. If you're not on a player versus player server, hey, go crazy, but conserve just enough in case a mob comes after you. And, uh, you know, you need to survive. So, either way, conserve. Besides, conservation is good because you can go from one mob to the other mob to the other and get it done quickly. I'm just going to uh, eat. All right, let me work my way back. Might do one more round. So I guess I will be going to Ungaro Crater. And look at that. All my buffs left me. So...
if I'll make it before that says, uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't have made it. Alright, so I need to get me some uh, essence of fire. The sooner the better. So I'm gonna ride back and then I'm heading to Umbrella Crater. I need the uh I need to uh see if I can give me some SS of fire. So. And that's if no one else is camping the area. back. Alright, so I will leave this area, get on a flight path to my other destination. Ungaro Crater. At least that's my uh, plan. <laughs> Somebody was asking uh, Hollow Frost, are you picking on Lobies? And he's like, no. And I'm like, they were picking on him. <laughs> Now they're regretting it. Yep, payback. I flew over a duo a while back, Warrior Guy and Lock Girl. And I'm like, they dynamic duo like superheroes? <laughs> ah. <laughs> Didn't seem that way to me, so I guess they weren't superheroes. And if you look behind me on my background, you'll see an Apple computer. Nothing against Apple, but I'm, I'm just not an Apple guy. I know they do good work. I know they do good computer systems, but uh, that's just not me. My wife, maybe. <laughs> to a point. I say maybe because she's used to using uh, regular Microsoft-based computers and setups. And my computer, which is not an Apple. But... Uh, I think she could adapt well to an apple. Apple would be good for her. But on that same note, I'm really not an apple guy. And again, not that it's bad, not that uh, they make good products, though they've slacked off a bit. But um, yeah, no, they, uh, they do do good jobs. Or a good job when they... Uh, they focus and, and, and want to do a good job. Um, I don't know how they are right now, but uh, well, I, I'm also looking at 
Apple's expensive as well. So that's that as well. There's that. So for you Apple lovers out there, I apologize. It's just my preference is non-Apple. I don't even have an Apple phone. I do have an Apple iPad though. That's my wife's and uh, it's actually pretty good. I take it back. It's an older one, so I wonder if uh, she got that uh, update for the battery because uh, sometimes it's just not the same. She's kind of irritated, but uh, now nah, we'll see. We'll see what the future brings because, uh, uh, you know, I uh, know that there was a show called Babylon 5 and I know they use an Apple based computer and uh, it was a pretty good show back in the day. And I did not put the carrot on the stick just in case anybody ganks me. I might be able to do something with uh, some movement. All right, where am I at? here somewhere it's probably this way Oops. I think there it is my flight hey, you know what maybe I could sell something it's not ready yet mm -hmm. there we go I could sell something here what are you looking for do a quick repair sell my boots uh, that I might not sell what else can I sell all right, I'll leave it at that For one. The horde. There we go. McGraw. All right, Your heading to Ungoro. So I'm saying, Anguro, here I come. You can never play too safe, people. So um, sometimes you get used to a pattern like going to a Shara. Uh, you know, you have a favorite spot you want to go to. But you know what? Sometimes it's also good to explore. I need those fire elementals and I've been to Anguro. So I'm going to try to get some essence of fire. And I so need it. I need 12 of those for my uh, my dream robe of the void. That's 46 extra damage that I can I can add to my repertoire. And 14 stamina. I mean, I can't really go wrong. Now look at this book, Tome of Shadow Force. 34 shadow spell and effects damage. Come on, who would not want this? So I definitely have a long flight. Let me see, how close was I to the next? Yeah, I'm gonna have to work really hard to get the next rank, which is rank eight. And rank 8 is a Centurion. And I get extra a chest item, I believe. Chest armor. 
and leggings. Well, I'm going to have to work a little bit extra hard to get to that rank 8. Then I need six more to get rank 14. Yeah, right. That might be a long time. Now, I'm not saying it can't be done. I'm just saying it's going to be a little bit harder. And you know what? Hold on, guys. <laughs> Orgasm. Holy, I went up so much. <laughs> ah. I meant to whisper. PvP wise and honor. I'm just wondering if Orchasm went up. <laughs> What's up, my man? What's going on, Orchasm? I didn't mean to invite him. I I accidentally hit that. I meant to whisper him. So I said, now I need to make some two ranks. So all my live streams may be in Altrak Valley, Warsong Gulch, or Arathi Basin. <laughs> so you might pop in and see how I'm doing. And I'm just PvP, 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 PvP all the way, PvP. So he's telling me, dog, I'm so hyped. I'm like, honor-wise, game-wise, life-wise, why are you hyped? Wise and game wise, though I gotta say my classes are going so well, life wise as well. I guess. What do you what do you call those? A triple threat. So, honor wise, game wise, and life wise, it's going good for him. So I said, "Ha ha! All three, man, you're a triple threat." <laughs> and uh, Charia has been doing a lot of AV, a lot of battlegrounds, uh, Alterac Valley. So a lot of us are just trying to get rank. And with me, if I'm not going to the, um, you know, like dungeons and stuff or doing raids, the best bet for me, since I'm not getting that, and I did that with my hunter, is the other alternative, do battlegrounds and your PvP gear will get you that extra umph that you need to, uh, you know, have not, well, you could use it for raids, but it will help you kind of be ready for raids by having that extra umph behind your gear.
it said, uh, trying to get myself some essence of fire for my robe, pattern robe of the void. And he's like, oh, blank, and add what I have now. So the blood guards dread weave hand wraps and blood guards dread weave wa uh, walkers. <laughs> he's like, you're gonna f in one shot, people. <laughs> my undead warlock dream. I'm only kidding. I don't dream about that day and night. But I said, uh, he's like, you're going to F in one shot, people. I was like, I hope. My undead warlock dream. I dream of that day and night now. I just want to get better gear. I want to get to that. A few more levels and get some decent gear. That's that's the way I enjoy the game. I do like PvP. Yep. So, oh. Forgot this one. Awesome reading. So yeah, the uh, Tome of Shadow Force makes for awesome reading when I'm flying. <laughs> so those are the items that I have right now. So my Blood Guards Dread Weave hand wraps, and I like the. All I need is to get me those essences. <laughs> I hope you get those essences. Me too. And I said, uh, all those together, including the robe of the void, if I can get it done, will add to the overall. Um, I'm from behind the spells. All right, so oh, Skunky made it to to, to sixty. Grad Skunky. All right, let me uh, rebuff. Yeah, let me take a look. I gotta go to Fire Plume Ridge. So don't let this 251 spell damage fool you. I got shadow damage as well hidden in there. I was just talking about what uh, Orchasm said uh, in reference to what I said on my stream that it's easier to uh, let's say like I, I can't I haven't been able to raid a lot of people are ahead of me so this is what I did with strategist um, I basically I, I couldn't raid and get the gear that I wanted so what I did was give me a second make sure I'm on the right track what I did was I uh, So um, I'm agreeing with his thoughts. I'm basically, he goes, what do you think of, of that? And I agree with, with his thoughts. I got all my gear doing PVP, building up my gear. Then I went into the raids because that PVP gear helped me. So what I was lacking PVP wise, I made up for it, um, or excuse me, what I was lacking raid wise and PVP in the beginning, I made up for it because then not only could I PVP, But then, not only could I PvP and do damage and PvP and uh, do like um, raid damage because I had that gear, I could also, um, you know, I could also, when I do the raids, get the raid gear that I needed. So.
So I'm telling him, I think rank 11 won't be so bad, but rank 14, forget it. Everybody and their mother. But, but here's the thing about um, this server. It's not a high population server, so it might actually not be a bad thing. It might actually work for our benefit because since it's a low population, I don't have to, um, I don't think I'll have a lot of competition as far as, um, as far as, uh, trying to get that rank 14. It might not be as bad. to get me some essence of fires people Mental fire. <laughs> By the time I'm done, I'll probably be a stud knowing this uh, this cliff area inside and out. Oh man, it won't. Oh, there we go. Let's see. If there's somebody up here, I'm not gonna bother too much. mind rank 10 to be honest oh so I'm getting everything but what I need right now I need 11 of these essence of fire oh this is rough all right let me just keep working my way up and let me get some foodstuffs other ranks I said my plan is to get at least rank 10 the other ranks depending on time and work will be if I can attain it that will depend if I can make it or not oh. Oh, somebody's already there fighting I'm not gonna gank them Essences of fire.
And I'm asking Hollow Frost if they can get me at least 11. So when Gurubashi gets back on, I might be able to get that item. <laughs> oh, this is like, always check your thing before you do the farms. I'm like, now you guys tell me. Alright. The living blaze. So I'm basically doing a round robin as well here. He's working from home due to the place where he's only about moving. So he's like, he's working from home due to the plague. So he's on a lot more. I'm like, cool, got his number, roll on the floor laughing. I'm only kidding, I wouldn't. <laughs> he's like, I should have it, but I don't. <laughs> All right. I would. <laughs> I'm like, you know I'm streaming this, right? Wow, I still am unable to... see can I climb this oh come on I apparently I can't climb oh geez oh 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 hey no nope. maybe maybe nope maybe I might be able to pull something off uh no all right let's see how much time So I'm asking him, how how long before an AVQ? I may have to hold off. Oh, hell. <laughs> Guys, two hours for an Altrack Valley Q. Do I really want to? Uh, that's going to. That's rough. I'm telling him we will die of old age waiting on this all track valley queue and yesterday guys i had a lot of fun we did it uh we did uh arathi ba uh, basin and warsaw gulch and we kicked some butt and this was because of teamwork and uh i hope you guys see that video i'm gonna be posting it also on youtube Ah, uh, burning pitch. That's all I got. Oops, that's not good. Uh, hold on.
And uh, Orgasm is like, think you'll be here for two hours? I'm like, wife will get me before then. So I wouldn't be able to uh, <laughs> to wait that long. Dang, guess I'm going in so much. I may be on later though. Right on, my friend. It was nice talking to you. I'm gonna go shower and walk the dog or something. Hell yeah, we'll tear it up. Oh, that would be cool. I like uh, I like hanging out with the guild guys, um, especially worse on dogs or happy Basin. Even believe it or not, even if we do uh, a dungeon, I'm happy hanging out with the guild. Right on, peace for now. Peace, I like him. Orgasm is pretty cool. Oh, look at that. Let me run to this guy now. Alright, let's see how we're doing here. What I might do is I might send Gorobashi an email and see if he can uh, hook me up with 11 essences of fire because uh, I need him. And I'm not planning to gank anyone so I will just keep moving on. All good. So my wife has been calling this extra thing that I do work. And I'm like, how can it be work if I'm, if I'm actually having fun doing it? <laughs> She's like, no, no, you're working every time you stream. I'm like, nope, not at all. It's, it's, it's fun. It's not nothing. Work isn't meant to be fun. Work is work. That's why it's called work. Uh, this is gaming. And, uh, you know, for the most part, it's enjoyable. It's enjoyable when you have a good guild. It's enjoy enjoyable when you have good friends. It's enjoyable when you're having fun and, and enjoying other people's company. It's enjoyable when you get a cool item. It's enjoyable, uh, you know, when you hang out with different people, get to meet different people. It's, and when I say meet, I mean in game and in real life. And, uh, you know, uh, I've been, you know, at one point, uh, I actually traveled to uh, California and met met some game players, and they were actually pretty cool. And, uh, again, we had the similar plans in my old guild, uh, in the guild that I was in, Blood and Fire. It didn't come to fruition, but you never know, you know, maybe in this guild we'll, we'll get an idea and say, hey, we need to hang out or something. But, uh, it's not enjoyable, though, when, uh, you know, when you're getting ganked, and, uh, somebody, some alliance must have learned a lesson with, with, uh, with uh, Hollow Frost, because he ended up uh, ganking them, and then they got friends, and he ganked their friends, and so forth. So, lesson learned, I hope. But um, you know, it, it, it's good and bad things that happen in game, and it's like life. You know, sometimes you're having a great moment in life. Other times, it, 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 things go south. Like what's happening now kind of sucks, but there, there's there's opportunities, you know. There's things you can do. Like right now, you know, um, math isn't like a favorite subject of mine. I can do it. I can. I get it. Uh, I remember uh, when I was going to college, one of these guys who thought, because I said I didn't like math, so what he did was he was a team leader and uh, he put me to be the statistical guy for their report. And he kind of had this grin like, ha ha, I got you, you know? I said, whatever. So, uh, they gave me the numbers, I did the research and everything, and, uh, so what happened was that he, um, when the teacher was doing the analysis, um, she got up front, she was talking about our team, and she goes, um, in the beginning, whoever was doing your guys' analysis, I didn't agree with them, uh, it looked all wrong, and I was not happy with it, and I was like, what's going on? No, I don't agree with it. However, she said, as soon as I started really looking, uh, he was correct. 
or she was correct and uh, their statistical analysis was correct so this particular team leader's mouth dropped and then he goes I thought you said you weren't good at math I said no I never said I was good at math I said I just didn't like it like enjoy it but you know what now that all this is going on and you know what's ha what's been happening in, in the world and staying at home eh, I'm reading a good book <laughs> and it involves math so so there you have it people it involves math and you know what I'm even reading it to my son and my son actually he likes he likes daddy reading so uh, he, he's actually listening to to uh, to it oh, hold on so you know what I'm saying basically is it's an opportunity it's an opportunity for people to um, to uh, you know learn something different to not be afraid you know uh, not everything is 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 clear cut not you know everything that's going on take a moment to not just you know be close to the family but also take a moment to learn you know um, I don't know learn Spanish learn French learn German uh, you know maybe there's something that that's interested you and you have time in your hands because there's, again there's people that are working from home there's people that that have been let go and nobody's looking to uh, get more people because a lot of companies are kind of like being uh, careful to hire so um, it doesn't take much to, to say you know what I'm just gonna learn something different um, again it's not that uh, I don't know math or anything my wife I'll do some quick calculations and, you know hit her off or some quick multiplication in my head and, and tell her the answer or something like, how do you do that it's you know but I don't know, I'll just get into, do some uh, geometry, do some algebra, you know. Get my brain working again in, di in a different concept. Um, I don't know, maybe program in JavaScript, program another website. Uh, do something, you know, come up with something. I, maybe you want to learn martial arts and do a few things. Nothing stopping you, plenty of time. I read this uh, story a long time ago about uh, some prisoners in World War II. Um, that were captured by the enemy and uh, the captain that was in charge of the prisoners uh, an American fellow he um, he talked to his uh, the German concentration officer he said hey listen would it be okay if uh, we hold classes um, do something with our time other than just stare at each other and you know be prisoners and and the uh, the com commandant basically told them yeah as long as you're not you know, as long as you're teaching, we'll have officers watching, but as long as you're teaching and, you know, it's nothing, I don't know, bad, like planning to murder his troops or anything, fine. So anyway, after the war, um, when, the, when the Allies won, they, uh, other than a little bit of malnutrition, or malnutrition on some of the, uh, the uh, prisoners, a lot of them were very intelligent. Some had learned Spanish, some had learned French, some had learned math, and these were skills that were actually needed in their personal life after. So, I don't see this necessarily as a bad thing. Oh, give me one second. I, I see something like this as a, as a positive, as something that you can turn into a positive. Yes, people have, you know, died. That That's, that's sad, and you know what, unfortunately. However, um, in, you know, not... I'm not, you know, like putting that down or anything. It's, it's never fun to lose a loved one. But uh, take advantage of, of the situation in the sense that you can learn, you can, you can, uh, you know, communicate with people, socialize on on social media, uh, learn. You got YouTube. You got, uh, you know, other things you can do that, that could, you know, you can learn something from. Uh, pick up a book. You know, do something with the time that you have. Don't just watch TV. Uh, Alright, so uh, don't just watch TV unless it's something educational. Like, um, uh, I found it fascinating. I was watching uh, YouTube and uh, uh, some uh, cases of UFOs and and uh, and uh, not just UFOs, but like. Um, uh, stories of uh, strange encounters and things like that. I found it fascinating. 
Um, did it happen? It happened to somebody. Somebody's experienced something. Um, but I found it fascinating. Then, then there was a documentary about um, uh, a person with a, an incredible IQ. And, uh, but it, he was a savant, but he was uh, an acquired savant. And the difference with a savant is, uh, an idiot savant and an acquired savant is, uh, this particular person got beat up and got hit in the head a lot of times and uh, he became like a math genius and it's just fascinating the human brain so the damage he received from a concussion from, from him being attacked um, actually translated into something where he could see uh, equations and mathematical formulas and everything in drawings like he would draw it and it was the equivalent of let's say pi you know the 3.14159 I don't know but but it was the equivalent of that, but it was in pictures. And uh, he was talking to a, uh, a professor, a math professor, a physics uh, professor, excuse me. And um, they were talking and the guy was looking at one of the drawings, he goes, wow, you know, what are you, are you a mathematician? Uh, I, I, and the guy was like, no, I'm not. He goes, you know, this looks like a mathematical equation. And as they talked, he realized, you know, you mean to tell me all these drawings that I have are based on math? And uh, from then on, uh, he became a legend. I'm, once I figure out his name, let me see. Uh, uh, hold on, guys. I'll look it up. I'll look up the name. If I find him. Ah, the person's name was Jason Paget, P-A-D-G-E-T-T. -T. If if you guys have a chance, uh, look that up. I mean, it's on YouTube. He's like uh, the accidental genius, I think, is uh, what it was. But um, it, it's just amazing what the human mind is capable of. Look at Einstein. The guy was a genius too, but he couldn't he couldn't tie his shoes. But yeah, I've, I, I looked things up like that. Also about uh, child prodigies, uh, geniuses, um, uh, people with photographic memories. You know, on top of UFOs, I just kept looking around. Um, and if you're asking me, do UFOs exist? That's like uh, saying electricity doesn't exist. We know it's there, we just can't see it. <laughs> so uh, anything's possible, people, anything. take a look around I just found a lot of this stuff fascinating I I just wow and uh, I uh, I dragged my son into watching it with me so so my son got to see a little bit of a thing a show called pancake manor it does ABC it's like two little uh, hand puppets but they're Zach and some other but it's a lot of fun but in the meantime I read to him like a math book or I'll read to him his ABCs or sing songs to him. But um, the price he has to pay is he has to watch what daddy might want to watch, like a UFO story or uh, a history story or, you know, any number of things. Like, my, my mind is uh, is always trying to learn new things as, as, uh, as Facebook does. So don't stay cooped up doing one thing and do other things, you know? Keep learning. All this time and I still don't have any essences. This is very depressing. All right. I am going to email Gorbashi. For the most part, I am resisting because a fell hunter gives me a little bit extra resistance to things. I'm 65 fire, though. That, that kind of sucks. All right, so I'm looking around. Let me recast this.
I don't even know what they say. Gurubashi or Gurubashi? Alright, guild. Gurubashi. Alright. So. Take a look. Let me buff up again. There we go. So yeah, keep learning guys. This is an opportunity. I don't think it's anything bad. Spend time with family, you know, spend time with, with friends and you can't spend time with them right there presently. Uh, spend time with them, you know, chatting online, doing something, you know. Um, continue learning. Let me see if I can get that guy out. Oh, not coming out. Okay. down and looking around. All this to try to get one essence of fire. I have yet to get another one. This is just bad. All right, I'll keep running around. I'll eventually find something, I hope. And I will run around until I get this to zero. And then what I'll do is, I will uh, eventually have to camp. Because I got, unfortunately I have other things I gotta take care of today and as much as I wanna play, for a navy or worse on adults, but I'll wait. Yeah, let me use fire on him. I'm only kidding. Off in the head is coming. I don't know if that's a good thing. Okay, I got an item, but I really wasn't looking for an item. But, I'm not going to complain. Alright, let me rebuff this. Actually, you know what? I will run this area. Hmm, he's got...
is enough. Even if I get one, I'll be happy. But these burning pitches are not helping me. <coughs> Excuse me. So it looks like today my new time was three o'clock because uh, my wife has to step out and do some things. So I had to keep my uh, the little man in uh, check and make sure he didn't get himself into trouble. So, but that's the that's the breaks. Arcane spell damage. And it almost looks like my. Well, actually, you know what? It might look like the felt cloth ones that I have. Or that I will have. Let me see. Felt cloth shoulders. Eh. Work needs to be done. dropped. I mean, it worked in me killing it, but it didn't work on me getting anything out of it. I'll be happy with one more, then I just need ten. Never, never ignore anything that gives you a free shot. Alright. Mm -hmm. Let me go to this guy. Thank you for joining me in Angoro Crater. Appreciate it. Oh, these things are... Heart of Fire. Essence of Fire. I need Essence of Fire, people. This heart stuff does not work for me. And I'm running out of time. Maybe I can get this guy. One of them has to drop at least one. I need to get closer. And guys, if you can see my uh, video yesterday because I did a lot of uh, uh, Warcraft Gulch and Arathi Basin. I think I did two. One of each, but uh, it uh, turned out pretty good. I didn't speak much, though. And, uh, well, you'll see why. I mean, I was kind of focused. I'm like, oh, we got to win this. At one point, I was uh, kind of uh, not thinking that we would win. It was anybody's game, but uh, no, we pulled through. All right, I amplified the Curse of Agony, and now I'm just going to try to suck up some energy. brutal. It was by luck that one drop I had dropped. Mm. 
Okay, apparently I cannot go that way. Okay, and I cannot go that way. I've got to be able to go one way. No. Can I go this way? Nope. I will try this way. I'm gonna do one more round and try to get me the item. If not, I will uh, see if I can email Gorobashi. Eleven items that I need. Hmm. Okay, this is brutal. Somebody's gotta let me get up there. There we go. Mm -hmm. You kidding? If I grew a bush and I have an alt. Oh, I got cool. Oh, I guess that would keep them uh, lit up. Cool is good. Alright. I'm running out of uh, time here. Elemental fire. Not what I needed, but that's okay. Alright, so... Chapeau. Now let me work my way up. thing was that today I was kind of feeling sick and I was kind of concerned with everything that's going on uh, but it turned out I just had a headache <laughs> that's all yeah thank goodness for that I'd rather have that than anything else but I was kind of like am I going to be able to play or do anything today so so far so good that is that. Just doing that one round robin. And I'm still trying to sell that freezing band. I got to do the thousand gold people buy it okay I'm 
down to five rations. Eight minutes. Let me see if I can pull them from the water. There we go. burning pitch. I hope there were something in the auction house or at least uh, with a vendor. Because uh, this bites. Alright. So what I'm going to do is I am going to hearth on over to the auction house and I'm going to write Gurubashi a nice little letter or an email and uh, go from there. Let's see, what did I get? Alright, so I guess nobody wants those. I will send that to my alt. people so I'm gonna send an email to Urubashi I'll keep it I'll keep it uh, offline so um, thank you for joining me hopefully tomorrow I'll probably be doing a lot of uh, ABs because I made rank 7 and I was able to get those two goodies that I needed uh, but um, I hope you join me I would like to start at 2 30 but uh, that has not been my luck so I've started a little either 3 or a little bit after 3 but uh, thanks for joining me this is uh, strategist plays I'm playing my level 60 Undead Warlock Ominous, and until next time, thanks for joining me.